Hello, good evening. I'm Philip Ilgard. I'm the CEO of Celsibus AB, and we enable fuel cells for new markets. We are a Swedish startup. That's worth to mention as well. We are based in Gothenburg. Just a small lecture about fuel cells. Um, fuel cells are made to convert hydrogen gas into uh, electricity using oxygen as well, and the only emission is water. And it's agreed to be a key technology in uh, providing green electricity uh, to society. Fuel cells are used in various applications, both in transportation and in fixed installations. Uh, most fuel cell manufacturers of today are working on, uh, to the left there, you see the automotive, the trains, and they are trying to maximize the power and the output from them. Um, to meet the demand and to meet the competition from batteries and combustion engines. Not many of them are working on uh, less energy demanding applications such as micromobility, power backup for telecom for example, and combined heat and power. It's a shame because the market is huge and fuel cells would fit just perfect in those applications. Fuel cells are energy efficient, they are lightweight, they cause no pollution, virtually no noise. The drawback is that they are too expensive for many applications. And that boils down to the price of the catalyst. The catalyst is there to make the conversion happen, to make the hydrogen turn into electricity. And the catalyst today is normally or always made of platinum. And platinum is a very precious metal, it's expensive, it's harvested, uh, it's dug out from a different, few different sources in uh, Europe, not in Europe, but in South Africa and in China and in Russia. We don't have any production or any mines of platinum in Europe. And that's the reason for the cost here. Department of Energy has estimated that 50% of the fuel cell stack cost comes from the platinum catalyst. So to find a new catalyst not based on platinum would be the holy grail for the whole business. That's where we come in, Celsius. We have a non-platinum based catalyst for fuel cells. About 10 years ago, our founder, Professor Anders Palmqvist, discovered a way to make abundant raw materials useful for fuel cells. Celsius was born in 2019 and we are now a team of four people, application engineers, chemists, working on this issue um, in our own premises in Gothenburg, Sweden. What we do, we produce catalyst powder in-house, in small scale. We use subcontractors to, to coat the powder onto membranes and the membranes are put into a fuel cell stack. So that's what we sell, the membrane into the fuel cells, and that is used by system integrators, and finally we reach the product owner here. So where we are right now, we have a lot of NDAs in place, I can tell. Uh, we are creating collaborations all the time. So we have the catalyst production again, we do the upscaling now, we have to reach uh, to meet the demand. We have membrane manufacturers, who we are working with. We have a few of those contracts that we uh, to use as uh, subcontractors. And we have a fuel cell manufacturer who has built and evaluated two prototype stacks for us. We have some POCs coming up, both for backup for the telecom sites and combined heat and power. And that's later this year. And then we also have a strong collaboration within micromobility. And that is more specifically a fuel cell powered e-scooter. So a lot of things happening. Uh, the time now is to reach the market and for that we need some money. So we have an open round now for one to two uh, million euros. So thank you. We are ready to scale up and uh, meet the demand and you can find us in A27. Thank you.